Hi, Jeff Lang, Managing Director at Totomi. Here at Frankfurt for the Formnext 2019 trade show for 3D printing, the world's largest conference and trade show for 3D printing additive manufacturing technology. So please come with us and we'll go for a journey on a stand and show what we've showcased this year in 2019 and what Totomic's been working on behind the scenes. So we've talked previously about the rockets we've produced and our partnership with Gilmore Space Technology. Gilmore Space Technology is a very important company for Totomic. As a fellow Australian company, it's important that we can work together in synergy to develop world leading technologies and actually get into the global market as well. So this was our first demonstration rocket that we made uh, uh, obviously about six weeks ago now but more importantly it actually showcased our capability to produce the part very very quickly now this was two and a half hours to produce that titanium rocket which shows a capability that no one else has in the world whether using traditional manufacturing and beyond the scale that most metal 3d printers can actually work as well so here we have our 5.5 meter Totomic rocket that we've built also for Gilmore Space Agency as an example of our capability. Now we're also working closely with them on new levels of design and, and we're actually under a, a new level of agreement we're now negotiating as far as for Totomic using our engineers to do the design of the rocket and the FAA analysis as well. So what's exciting about this rocket is not only is it the world's largest metal 3D printed part ever done, it's the only capability to produce something this size is on the TKF, the Totomic kinetic fusion process. So this rocket's 5.5 metres, 900 millimetre diameter at the model bottom. It has a wall thickness of about 6 millimetres, but most importantly, it's made out of titanium. Now if you look at SpaceX, they're producing their rockets out of stainless 301. Great what they can do with their rocket, but it's a thin material. And the reason they've chosen uh, stainless steel 301 is because they do not have the capability to build a titanium rocket such as this. So Titomic is really leading the world as far as what we can do with large scale additive manufacturing. And this is the example everyone's been asking about when are you going to build something big? So here we have something very big that we've built with the process. So we're very proud and I'm very proud of my team and what we've been able to construct. And more importantly, amazing technology out of Australia that's showcasing what we can do on the global front and be the world leading in technology and capability as well. So what we have here is a material called Ultim material. It's a very hard um, plastic material that's 3D printed, but what we've been able to do that no one else has done ever in the world is to produce titanium straight onto that. So here we have a plastic 3D printed part, then using titanic kinetic fusion, we can coat the part in titanium as well. So this is a game changer for multiple industries where we can use the combination of very quick plastic 3D printing combined with TKF to produce new hybrid materials that are benefit of plastic as far as how quick you can produce a part but also the titanium surface as well. Okay another area we've been working on is around our soldier system products and obviously this is a fast growing area for us and great revenue opportunities for Totomic in this sector. So here I'm going to finally showcase some of the work we've done with what we call rifle barrels and reducing the weight of them. So what we have here is our titanium rifle barrel. Now this is actually used by armies and other military services but the key advantage of this product is not only is it lighter and stronger it's actually incre increased the performance of the product and how do we increase the performance of the product well when we look at traditional rifle barrels they're generally made out of chrome moly a very very heavy material and so this is quite costly to produce but it's become the stable of industry because it once it heats up with a lot of shots it stays quite stable but even still because of the heat We've also worked with another technology, we've been able to put heat exchangers on the end with some of our new patent technology that uh, Totomic's actually filed our own patents this time. So we actually have layers of copper coated then with titanium to act as the heat exchanger. The idea of this, as we actually bullets come through this, it actually helps uh, lessen the heat by pulling the heat away from the barrel into the external air. So we're excited by that product. But what we're even more excited about is how we can reduce the weight of that. So this is extremely light, this part. Now this is stainless steel. Now normally a stainless steel rifle barrel is cheaper to produce than the uh, other chrome moly and other harder materials, but the problem is they're notoriously bad when they heat up. Once they heat up, it means you lose what's called the shot groupings, as far as the accuracy of the shots are just not there any longer. So what this allows us to do is actually stabilize stainless steel. So you can see inside here, it is a stainless steel bore, 
and the end here too. But it's actually machined right down to a very nominal wall thickness around the barrel of about two millimeters. Then we've built up an eight millimeter wall thickness that tapers down of titanium. So this has been able to reduce the weight of this barrel by 69%. The whole weight of the rifle itself is 40% lighter. This makes it a lot more agile for soldiers to carry. And what's really critical for soldier system is how we can use advanced technology to reduce weight and actually also increase performance as well. So thanks everyone. Thanks again for the support to Atomic. We're really excited to be able to showcase at Formex and show how quickly Totomic has grown since we incorporated and actually listed in 2017 and how quickly we've been able to validate the technology, build huge rockets such as this, do the small components as we have here. So we really feel we're a global leader in our technology and excited by the continual support we receive and also the industry validation we're receiving as well. So thank you all again and look forward to my next update next month. Thank you.